Hey guys, so I know it's been like a way cool minute since I've done a ROM review, but this is Frozen, the last episode for the HTC Evo V4G on Virgin Mobile or the Evo 3D on Sprint. So, uh, this is a 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich ROM. Bear with me guys, I haven't done these in a while. And uh, it runs since 4.1. So, uh, yeah, as you see, I, I pretty much like customize like down here and put the apps that I mostly use. Um, some more apps right there. And uh, this is your notification dock. And you have quick settings right there. So you have to see Frozen ROM, and it's got all these different um, quick settings volume, you know, like, well, volume, screen on, off. Silent mode, vibration mode, Wi-Fi, mobile network, Bluetooth, GPS, Sprint, hotspot, airplane mode, auto sync, flashlight, auto rotation, power save. Let's turn that on. Uh, wireless ADB, reboot option. It does tell you total memory, which is 797 megabytes. What's used out of it is 653, and I have 144 megabytes free for me to use. And there's your notification area. Let me kill some stuff in the background right now. Okay, so let's go to settings and we'll go ahead and go to about device. Okay, so uh, software version. Sorry you guys can see it's kind of blurry. I'm shooting in a low res right now. Um, but it says uh, last episode and let's go with uh, let's see software information. So there we go. Okay, yeah, 4.0.4 uh, ice cream sandwich this is the ICS ROM. Uh, 4.1 HTC cents, and uh, we have the, it's called the last episode. And yeah, um, one of the cool things about this, of course, it has a uh, Google Now working, so I haven't um, set that up here, so we'll do that right now. I didn't recognize anything? Okay, okay, Google. Okay, it doesn't do that. Uh, what's the weather in Phoenix, Arizona? So it's just going to show me that. Well, it says it has Google now, but I guess not. Or I just have to set it up. Anyways, besides that, it does give you the ability to... Um, let's open up text messaging. And let's start a new message. You can actually use the uh, KK keyboard. As you guys see, I'm using that down here. Um, it's To me, it's better than the stock HTC keyboard. And uh, it does allow you to plug in emojis or whatever, but however, it won't read the emojis because, you know, I don't think it has that built into it. But you can use uh, the KK keyboard, so if you want to use it for, let's see, yeah, any of the emojis, it won't use it. But you can download the keyboard if you like using it. Other than that, it's pretty much similar to a lot of the other ROMs out there for Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, this, the, the display, you guys can't see it because I'm shooting in low res, but the display itself is actually a lot smoother looking. I don't see too much. Um, I don't really see a lot of like, you know, like the, the pixelation. I don't see a lot of that. I don't see a lot of the dotted lines or any of that. So, yeah, it just seems to be working good. I'm getting a phone call right now. Let me decline that. So, anyways, guys. Um, you guys can find this on XDA's uh, website for the uh, HTC Evo 3D slash 4G. One thing it does not do is it does not shoot anything with the 3D camera, but you can view 3D videos and stuff like that. So um, that's always dope. If you have like older uh, 3D videos you made or if you have 3D pictures, you can still view them. But you cannot. Well, there is no 3D camera, so that's the bummer. Anyways, guys, if you guys like this little quick ROM review, it's like four minutes long, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.